the opportunity is to allow and be in process whereby in each moment the responsibility becomes that of the angelic being, the being that you are, to guide what process is happening, to discern what moves up and what uh, is let go of. This can be through body and mind and heart. Primarily through body we have the experience of taking in substance of food and other nourishment and letting go of it. We're used to that process quite often. Happens on a regular basis. The part of mind isn't seen as much, whereby mind lets go of things, and mind consumes things, and mind lifts up things. There is always that that's occurring in every single thought. Is this a thought that is being lifted up, needs to be lifted up, or is it a thought that needs to be let go of? It's a process in that way. And there's an understanding, it needs to be understanding in a greater way of what that process is and how we each participate in it. Individually speaking, there is no we in that sense, it's only how do I participate in it. And that's for each individual to discern for themselves. Because no one can dictate to you your experience of what goes up and what goes down. Same also with your thoughts. Because thoughts can be internal thoughts and thoughts can be external thoughts. And again, they can be lifted up or let go of. If they're let go of, they move to a lower vibratory level which is that of form and then in the process eventually they're evacuated all the way through and returned to the earth. If they're lifted up they move to the next highest vibrational level which is that of the emotions. Thought becomes emotional and if it stays as thought then it's stuck and sometimes just as in the digestive system when things are stuck they need to get moving again. The body will either force things to move or one needs to do something to make things move. Because one certainly doesn't like to be in a stuck state and can't be too long. Same with the mind. If thoughts are in the mind and they seem stuck and they haven't moved up or they haven't moved down, haven't sorted themselves out, then if one's working with it over and over and over for years and years and years, then it's stuck. There's a mental constipation that could be occurring. People have this type of experience and stay stuck for years. And look after the form, look after the environment, but sometimes they're stuck mentally. They're unable to move out of that place until something gets moving in that fashion. What gets moving is the substance of mind starts to feel agitated and it wants to either move up or move down. So it'll bring up some sort of thought and that thought could be of some situation and some sense of anxiety or pressure or anything else. Any type of thought that comes in that starts to build on the pressure is being asked to move up to a higher level or being asked to uh, be let go of. When it gets let go of, we know what happens and it returns to the earth. When it moves up to the next higher level, it then has a chance to be of the emotional quality. Emotional quality thought can be uh, lifted up into two fashions and in that it has to be sorted out by the emotions then. And the emotions have a sorting out process of themselves to go through. It's a refinement and a filtering of what the feelings are. Some feelings will go up and some feelings will return back to the mental level because they just 
aren't willing to go up anymore. But usually if the thoughts get up to the emotional level, then there's a chance that, that feelings can be sorted out in the feeling realm. The substance can be released in one fashion and made clear. Where maybe it wasn't made clear in the level of the mind, but now in the feelings, there can be again anxiety, the experience of something, the feeling of something. And usually those feelings, if they're stuck, people remain in kind of feeling stuck states. If they're moving, the things are going to come up for people. And these things can be of one quality or another. So we're given moment by moment the opportunity to experience multiple levels of being. Feelings when they're experienced can be without the uh, judgment of the feeling, they can be all sorts of ranges and qualities. And these ranges and qualities again are asking for the discernment of the divine being and the angelic consciousness to raise the feelings up to the level of purity, level of purification. And the divine being aspect will either lift it up if it can move. If it's stuck, it kind of stays there and people have emotional constipation. <clears throat> and if, if it doesn't get lifted up and it starts to move, it might end up moving downward again, back to the thought level and then back down out. The concern, of course, is what are the feelings that can move up? Because if we're caught up in the feelings that are in the process all the time, we see that there's a creative process of upliftment and letting go off that's occurring in every single level. The conscious participation in that is up to you, up to each one. If you want to consciously participate in the process of uh, letting go or lifting up substance in different ways, then you become consciously conscious about what's going on on all the levels that you're participating on. You can't just participate on a mental level and experience all the other levels. You can't experience all the other levels if you're just focused in the emotional level. Sometimes people think that they're living on all the different levels. But a lot of times they're stuck on one level where the majority of the substance is either in mind or in the heart. They get worked up about things in those levels. And see, ultimately, it doesn't matter whether it's in mind or heart, because mind and heart will pass away. It's inevitable. The body passes away, the mind passes away, and the heart passes away. All the experiences that body and mind and heart experience day after day after day are all in the process of passing away. The body cannot hold on to any substance. Eventually for the body there comes a point of death. Eventually for the mind and the emotions the same thing occurs. The only opportunity is if there's any substance that's going to be stuck at one level for it to become unstuck and to clarify itself, to be reaching the level of being pure. Pure substance and the goal of being in the place of purity is a very, very interesting thing because we can experience it while we're alive. We don't have to wait for purity till one comes to the point of what's called death. Purity is just standing in that place where one knows what substance is coming up to the level of purity. One experiences it, one stays with it, one doesn't have a thought about it, one doesn't have a feeling about it, but one can vibrate to what it is. Because the vibrational level will tell whether that substance is coming up or going down. So, 
There's a level of discernment that's required to be in the level of purity. The purity um, comes from, again, purification of that level. But this time, it's not mental and it's not emotional and it's not physical. It's more akin to light, but it's not pure light yet. It's substance that has to get burned off. In the digestive system and in the emotional system and in the mental system, things are getting burned off all the time. So also in the vibrational system. When it comes into the vibrational level, there can be tremendous awareness if one has the ability to and has some um, vibrational substance attuned to what the process is going on. In that way, it's not a matter of judging what the process is. It's just being aware that something's coming up and something's getting burned off and purified. The substance which is stuck in that way is getting burned off. It's like putting a log on the fire. It comes up from the, men, from the mental and emotional level and mm, is received into the vibrational part. And then there's a burn off. This substance will burn. This is the substance that will burn because there's a fire that's burning in the vibrational level. And that nothing passes through. The only thing that passes through is the substance that can be burned off without any residual um, body or mind or heart substance in there. If there's any body or mind or heart substance in there, it's going to get burned off. It cannot pass any further without that burn off occurring. Your experience, day to day life, is the experience of knowing these four different levels, but for the majority of people they're only experiencing three. They're only conscious of perhaps one of these. And they're primarily focused on mostly the mental and emotional. Or in some cases what's going on on the physical level. But the best level to be living from is the level of the fire. Level of purification by fire. In this way, the whole world goes through this day by day. It's not just one person, it's not just you. The world is continually lifting up physical, mental, emotional substance, and it's getting burnt off. And if it's not getting burnt off, then it's not in the vibrational level. And if it's not at the vibrational level, and most likely it's at the emotional and mental level. Physical level just deals with things coming in and going out really fast. In a sense, four score and ten years or ninety or hundred years of living is a very fast type of transit. It comes and it goes. And everything that happens in every single moment is going to discern that. We get a chance to eat. That little substance has come from nature, most likely from animals or rocks and minerals and creatures. And that substance is now asking the body to lift it up. So we get a chance to bless all that comes to us in that way. By consuming it, by being aware of it, by thinking about it, by feeling it, and by letting it getting burned up and released in the process. Substance is always wanting to be released. In that way, when people are stuck, the body eventually also wants a release. We're going through this process on a whole planetary level. All of mankind's consciousness is going through the same process on levels of mind, levels of thought, levels of war, levels of finance and all the different things that go on on the levels of the mind and then also on the emotional level. 
People are emotional about all the different things that go on. There's a whole world of this that we're participating in. Opportunity is to be at the point of the merging where one receives everything into the fire, where one is at the point where everything is coming to the holy sacred fire. Everyone has this point of fire within them. No one is devoid of fire, otherwise the body wouldn't be burning at 98.5 or thereabouts. If that fire isn't burning at a certain consistency, then the body gets sick. And the fire is too much, then there's a fever and there's a faster burning off and, and then the body can be in a phase where it gets burned off too quickly and that's not always pleasant either. If the temperature is too low, then certain parts of the system start to shut down. So there's a perfect amount of fire that needs to occur. There's a perfect temperature for the holy sacred fire to uh, be experienced in. And this is the fire of source. Source of life dictates that the body of a human being burns at 98.5. Source of life also dictates that all substance gets to come through the fire and either be purified and become one with a higher level of beingness or it returns once more to the earth and perhaps at some point we'll get a chance to be lifted up again. Every single atom in your body, every single thought that you have, every single feeling that you're experiencing is all going through this simultaneously. Through the process of ascension or the process of devolvement where it returns to the earth again. When one is conscious of this process then one doesn't get too worked up about certain things that are going on because all the things that are going on are transitory and will pass away. There's no need to be that concerned of any one of these levels because these levels all pass away. Even the fire, eventually the fire passes into light, into the life force of light. So fire itself releases light. For the majority of people, when they release light, there's some sort of spiritual experience that they have. All substance wants to return to source. All substance wants to return to the light. And it has to go through body, mind and heart. It has to go through the burn off. It has to be longing. Every single atom must long for the experience of being one with the light. Every single atom must be willing to go through the experience of the fire, the holy, sacred transmutation fire. And there's that which burns, it's called a fire that burns forever and ever. Every single thing wants to come in, it longs to come in. There's a longing in every single particle of every single thing in the galaxy, in all of the universe and cosmos, that longs to be and come into the holy sacred fire. So also with every single part of you. So also with every single thing that you eat or drink or consume or breathe, all the substance that comes into you. It's all wanting to do one of two things. Be raised up or let go off. And the reason it's come to you is so it can be lifted up. There are, in that sense, no accents in the process. Sometimes when we're young, we find that we go through experiences. If 
people live with that experience their whole life, then that experience can be stuck. They can be trying to relive or re-experience something that happened many, many years ago. Trying to resolve something. But that's all stuff that's just built up as a thing against the wall of life. And eventually it needs to be cleared away. Or it will be pushed out one way or the other. The chance is not to remain in the stuck condition. Not to remain as a child in that way. Because if one stays in an experience that one had and is so dedicated to from childhood or from the past, then one's stuck. And the individual knows it. Those around them know it. Because what happens is they keep regurgitating over and over and over the same experience. The stuck experience. Out of the mouth comes whatever a person is experiencing. Whatever is going on. Whatever level of being that they're experiencing. Sometimes this is hard for a person to know for themselves because they're not listening to what they say. They say things without fully understanding that what they're saying is being understood eh, because it's being moved up higher or it's being let go of. One can always tell what one's experiencing if one listens to what comes out of the mouth. And the substance that comes out of the mouth will tell whether that substance is long to be lifted up or needs to be let go of. It's a particular way of discerning. Sometimes people go to other people to discern what's going on for them so because they can't hear it themselves. They don't know what they're going through themselves because they're not listening to what's going on in themselves, in their own body or their own mind or their own heart. One has to become very conscious about listening to what's going on. Not so much of what's going on outside, because everything that's going on outside is in its own process. More importantly, what's going on inside. What does this engender? What is being when something comes up in that fashion? Is this something going to burn off? Yes, everything gets a chance to burn off. The point of death is the great purifying process where the physical form can't go past. The mind, the ideas of the mind cannot go beyond. The emotions, all the things that you thought were unresolved from your childhood, all the things you thought you suffered through, all the things that you went through that didn't make sense at that time and you're still trying to sort out. If they're not resolved while you're alive, it will happen at the point of death. It will get burned off. The chance is to be more conscious so it's not as painful a death. Sometimes people ex experience a very painful, long drawn out process of death because they're holding on to it. But the actual final process is a three-day process of burning off. When the silver cord is removed, that's it. There's no other possibility left. And it takes three days for that silver cord to be removed, the life force plug-in to be removed. Because all the substance, at that point when it's finally removed, has either become part of the light, or it's not. When the plug-in finishes, every single thought that hasn't become part of the light, every single feeling, every single part of your body, every single part of your experience, this goes for everybody, will pass away. 
Is there something you're experiencing now or have been experienced and continue to experience that you're afraid of or feeling anxious about or feeling anxiety over or feeling something about? Well, that will pass away. It's a creative process. One or the other, it's going to go. It's just a matter of when. Is it going to happen willingly? Is it going to happen by reason of the fact that you're conscious about it? Or is it going to happen in spite of you? In spite of all the identity with it? Identity with thoughts, identity with feelings, identity with the body, all passes away. It's nothing that one can maintain in that fashion. Even beauty in that sense is transitory, it passes away, it changes, it has to go through its process. Some people strive for beauty outwardly and, and all the things that are going on inside themselves show that they can't lift up the substance past the point of beauty outwardly. One has to be able to let the process on all levels be experienced. And the sooner one gets this, the less hard it is at the point of death. Because that burn-off is going to happen. And if things are still unresolved, whatever it is will make for a hard burn-off at the end. Because it's going to happen in three days. We're very fortunate that we're given time before those three days to bring things to the Holy Sacred Fire. Very, very fortunate. Very easy process if we work the process day by day by day. Moment by moment by moment. It gets much harder if one gets constipated with the body or the mind or the heart. The body, of course, goes through it in an easy fashion. The mind has a more difficult time. And the feelings, they have the most difficult time. If one's living from any of these levels and primarily focused in one's attention to one of those levels, The primary focus of attention of any of those levels is going to tell you where you're stuck or whether you're in a process of moving up or down. You know it for yourself. I don't have to explain or no one can really judge you in this because you know what's going on for yourself in that way. Other people will hear it come out of your mouth. They'll hear what's being experienced by what you say, what you do, what you ex what you reveal. The opportunity is to let that process happen moment by moment in an easy fashion. Now some things are going to come up, no doubt. You cannot be alive without things coming up. There is no one on earth who can avoid this process of ascension and devolvement. There's no one. It's described in many, many ways. It's described as the old heaven that's passing away, and the old earth. And it's described as the new heaven that's putting in appearance, or the new earth. And there are many other ways of describing the process. These are just some words to describe that. The spirit of it, the spirit of the new thing coming forth, is the spirit of the new, the spirit of the new heaven, the spirit of the new earth, the spirit of the new experience. When that spirit is working, the spirit of the new, then it's not a stuck state. The old it goes through one of the processes of ascension or burn off and devolvement and then there's no stuck anymore. 
new reveals new. The newness of each day reveals the newness of each day. The newness of each moment reveals that this moment was never experienced before. It's never happened before, not once. And in this moment, things are going to go up and things are going to go down. We bring it to this point together so that it can be lifted up on the holy sacred offering of the fire of our lives. So that our lives, our holy sacred fire of offering to the source of all life, the Creator. So that all that we are can become one with the Creator, light. And if one experiences any hardship, if one experiences any trauma, if one experiences any anxiety or fear or any shame or guilt or pressure, all of that is either in process, and if you're feeling it, if you're experiencing it, you know it's wanting to be lifted up higher. You get to participate with whether it does or whether it has to return to the ground and be flushed away. It's all going to become light anyway. Think of any one person that you've heard of who's lived, say, a thousand years ago. Do you know of anyone who may have lived a thousand or two thousand or three or five thousand years ago? Have you heard of any such, or five hundred years ago even? Some great person, some great king or queen or some great person of some sort. I went through the same process. All that's left is the substance of them that passed into the earth. That wasn't able to join up with the light. And all that joined up with the light became and becomes one with the light. Losing the identity of being separate. That's the awareness. There are other levels that go up even beyond that, or into higher and higher levels of experiencing the source of our life. And beyond what we see as light even. Light is just another part of the process. Some parts move up and some parts move down. Accelerating into other dimensions which one can barely comprehend on this level of the ladder of life. It's no need to have a mental understanding about it anyway or emotional thing about it anyway. The only thing one can do is decide for oneself in every single moment, do I want this to move up or down? Am I going to lift this up? Is it going to burn off? Or is it going to be let go off? Because that's the final stage for the experience of the each moment of these human forms experience. We can enjoy living in life completely from the perspective of being here. At the point where everything is moving up to the light. And everything that isn't moves back to the earth. This happens in nature so easily. And the creatures and 
don't get worked up about it. On the level of mankind, mankind gets worked up about things. Creatures operate on slightly different levels of experience, but it's still going through a process of ascension and devolvement in creatures. Trees, vegetation, same thing. And the minerals and the water and the sunshine and the processes of chemical processes of photosynthesis and all the other movements of substance make that tree into something. Eventually that tree lifts up all its substance into oxygen and other releases of substance and it absorbs other substance, carbon dioxide and all, and it releases something into the earth, passes things back and forth. And eventually it passes away. Trees even have a lifespan time of how long they live, and eventually they pass away too. And all the substance returns to the ground. The advantage of people of being human is that we're like walking trees. We get to experience moving around alone. Creatures, all of life is in the same process. Minerals, they're experiencing life likewise. They're experiencing being in a vibrational realm and lifting things up, and growing, reproducing, mutating, transforming. All of life experiences it. Even suns, even planets, they all go through a process of lifting substance up. Eventually the substance of this earth will turn into a substance of a sun. And eventually that substance of a sun will turn into larger and larger levels of sun. And eventually it will turn into something beyond the dimensionally comprehensible. There are levels of vibrational substance which are so minute. They can't be seen, but they're heavier than all the things in the galaxy. One little pinch of it. Just as much as we conceive of things like the black holes. All of the things in life, all of the things in all of the levels are all going through this process. So is mankind. So are you. Understanding the process makes it and gives one some objective ideas and ways of dealing with the processes that they come up. So that we don't remain stuck. Mankind's stuck, eventually it'll pass away too. There's no stopping it. There's no great person from the past who's still here. They have passed away. There's no great empire that hasn't passed away. And if it hasn't, just wait around a little while and it'll pass away. Doesn't matter how great it is. Whatever man does inevitably passes away. The only thing one can do is be effective and efficient in the moments of letting things be lifted up or letting them pass away. The more efficient you become, the more you get used to the creative process of lifting things up and letting things go. If you're not efficient at it, you're st you have the sense of being stuck, you have the sense of anxiety, you have the sense of fear, you have the sense of guilt, and the sense of shame, and all sorts of different experiences. And chances to rise up. Rise up in your experience. Go beyond the fears that come up. It's a hard one. Go beyond the momentary things that come up in you. It's a seemingly hard one, but it has to happen. 
it's the prerequisite for substance to move. First thing that ha has to be let go of is the fear. When one can master letting go, when one can master letting substance be lifted up, ascension, and substance that doesn't want to ascend, let it devolve. When it's not ascending, you'll know it's not ascending, and instead of being stuck with it, it'll get pushed down to a lower level and then out. Let it go. No need to have a funeral for it. it passes away. When we clip our nails or our hair, we don't have a funeral for that substance. It's passing away. We don't have to get worked up about having a funeral for the thoughts that pass away or the feelings that pass away either. When you master living in the present moment in the experience of all of this, then anything that comes up is a holy sacred opportunity for letting substance rise and return back to the Creator. Because one knows all the rest is transitory, it will pass away. Things come, things go. People come, people go. Substance comes in one way or another and substance will go and you cannot hold on to any of it. Not even somebody else. You cannot hold on to somebody else. People try. Opportunities to experience something while one's together with somebody else, in whatever fashion, friendship or other levels. And when it goes, it goes. People get worked up about the fact that it's going. It's very hard sometimes for people to let go of it when it's going. But once it's gone, they're forced to let go of it. And if they don't let go of it in the process, then they carry it with them for years and years and years, stuck. All the levels need to be worked with. When you master this, you will know that in each moment, if you do something very simple in each moment, every single moment that something comes up, when you live at the heart of the moment, when the things come up, then you'll know, ah, this has to be lifted up because it's worth lifting up, or this has to be let go of because it's worth letting go of. <laughs> you will know. You will know what needs to be lifted up and what needs to be let go of. And when you master that, then you get to live in the new heaven, in the new earth, continually revealing itself. So that's how it works. It continually reveals, each moment continually reveals the new heaven. One just has to master living in that which is coming from the divine level, from the light, from vibrational levels that aren't known maybe consciously. Then one's living in the heart of the source of creation. Experiencing it from a whole different objective point of view. The experience is all uh, subject to where one places one's identity. The opportunity is to place the identity with the source of all life, with the Creator, and to see the process that's occurring for oneself and for everybody else is a holy sacred opportunity. And sometimes, yeah, there may be things that come up that maybe haven't fully mastered either letting go of or lifting up. Doesn't mean others aren't aware of it around you. Just means maybe you haven't mastered it. And when you let go of it, 
you'll feel a lot better. One way or the other, it's better to let go of it. Either to move up or to move down. Doesn't matter which. It's holding on to it that's painful. Holding on to old loves, holding on to old thought patterns, holding on to old fears or anxieties or emotional things or baggage in that sense. Holding on to it is the painful part. <laughs> it's like constipation. Now Sue says the world is served by those who let go. Let go of holding on to it. <laughs> Release everything to the light and whatever doesn't want to go to the light, let it return to the earth. Plain and simple. And watch what each moment comes up, because in the next moment, some life will give you something else to deal with. Another wonderful opportunity to deal with something that you didn't know you were going to experience. You cannot tell what's going to be experienced in the next moment, because life won't let one go beyond the present moment in that sense. in the moments where the fire is burning the holy sacred and unquenchable fire of the love of the creator so it's good to be here and being here being able to share in a deeper and deeper understanding of what being here is all about. You know, week after week after week, that's what we do is we share in a deeper and deeper understanding of what being here is all about. Why do we share it? Well, it's not for my edification. It's for the release of light in you and through you and in the process in you and through you to others that more light might increase and be released we pass that winter solstice time in the point where we want light to increase let light increase in you and through you And yeah, it is good to share these and communicate and have these times together on a Sunday and a Wednesday and when we look at it from a different angle. Looking at the same thing, just from a different point of view. How many ways do you want to look at it? I'll look at it from you with you from all the different ways possible. So that and the effectiveness of your life, each one's life, can be revealed. And so that glory can truly be given to the highest, truly be given to the light. Which deserves all the praise and honor and thanksgiving. Forever and ever, for every single moment that occurs.